The nice thing about the TNT Plus is you just drop it in and it's going to read the barcode and pull up the correct method and we get the result. Hello, today we're going to talk about Hawk's TNT Plus LCK phosphorus test, phosphorus or phosphate, depending on how you want to do the test. How the TNT Plus works that is very unique is within this vial, you can do both total phosphorus or just measure phosphate, reactive phosphate ortho or orthophosphate. So how this works is within this little dosy cap that comes with this kit, the persulfate is already included within this cap. So all you have to do, and in this case, is 0.5 mils. You add 0.5 mils of your sample, and here we're going to add a standard. 0.5 mils in to the vial. Then take the foil off the dosy cap. Put this onto the vial. Invert a few times. Get that mixed in there. And as you heard before, the, uh, the heater block, the DRB, reach temperature. What you do is we're going to place this in here and we're going to do the digestion for uh, 30 minutes at 120 degrees Celsius. Now if you don't want to do the total phosphorus and you just want to do phosphate, all you do then is you take this cap, take it off, remove it, you don't need it, add the 0.5 mills a sample again and this is the same once this is done digesting we're going to follow the same procedure that we just we're going to do right now you're now going to add 0.2 mils of the ascorbic or this is the molybdate sorry so we add 0.2 mils of molybdate And then we're going to take the ascorbic acid cap that is in here, pour that out onto your cap, place it onto the vial, invert it three or four times, and let it react for the 10 minute time period, and it will then turn blue if phosphorus is there. So we'll let it sit here. And then we're going to talk about the phosphor 3 method. So if you're me measuring just phosphate, the phosphor 3 method is perfectly good. Open up the powder pillow, pooch it, pour it into the, into the sample, do the swirl, and then allow this to react for three minutes and it will also turn blue when uh, phosphate is present. The one issue with do using the phosphor 3 method is if you want to do total or um, acid soluble phosphorus you have to use a hot plate digestion where you take 25 mils of sample you'll add acid for the acid soluble and then or for total you'll add some a persulfate powder pillow and you have to do a hot plate digestion. Again what is nice about using the TNT plus version is it's all contained in a simple vial. So as you can see both of these are turning blue. We can put them into the spectrophotometer and see the reaction. The molybdate chemistry is very reactive. Take out this. Oh, we got to zero it first. That's the other thing that's nice about the TNT Plus is you don't have to use the, the blanking. So put this in. 
close off this. Zero. And then put, make sure this is all mixed up, cleaned off, place this in, and read. And then with the TNT Plus, let's go back to the main menu. The nice thing about the TNT Plus, put the little spacer back in, is you just drop it in and it's going to read the barcode and pull up the correct method. And we get the result.